Yo, 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 what up? Y'all, I ain't done no video in a long time. Let me turn my music down because y'all know YouTube will mute my video. Um, But I have not done a video <clears throat> in a long time. Excuse me. I've just had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, And I'm about to put my phone down because I'm trying to get the video done. Um, But anywho, I just came on here to dip in right quick. You know, do a little drinks with dsk no actually i'm gonna keep my music playing but i'm gonna just play it low so that way youtube don't figure out where the songs is and i'm playing or whatever and you know if i can hear it loudly in the background and not just take the music out um black king i made this shirt um i came on here excuse me i'm having a little burp um but came in to do a little quick drinks with dsk with y'all because i picked up three little things on the day and i was like let me try these on my little video um just to let people know um what they taste like or whatever and y'all know i'm gonna give y'all my honest opinion if they nasty i'm gonna tell y'all that they nasty so that y'all won't buy them um so really quick my new thing is when i go to the abc store i hate drinking the same stuff like i'm a brown drinker and i'm looking over here because i'm trying to see what i got over there um of course crown um some tito's some patron and then like some other little no-name stuff um well not really no name but low budget stuff because i have a bartesian um and for those of you who don't know what a bartesian is it's like one of the cocktail machines where it mixes the drink for you it's like a keurig for alcohol basically so you drop this little tab in the top you open it like a keurig you drop the little tab in the top and it has the mixer and um the little tab or whatever so they got all different kinds um that go in there and so i usually put like you know bottom shelf mid shelf alcohol in the bartesian because i'm not putting no top shelf alcohol in there you know and i'm just not doing that so um again my new thing is when i go to the um abc store i like to try different things top shelf middle shelf bottom shelf like i don't care stuff by the door stuff on clearance whatever it is and a lot of times with me like i be finding gems like just like i'll be going to the record store finding gems or whatever so some of the stuff that's on the bottom shelf be hitting harder than some of the stuff that's on the top shelf in my opinion so i mean why not like no need for me to go and buy a $35 um, bottle of Crown or a $60 bottle of Hennessy when I can go get this driveway trash can liquor that's, you know, $7 and it do the same job and it tastes better. Like, in my personal opinion, again, this is my personal opinion. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So, I'm going to have to stop leaning on the table because it's making me look like I got boobs. It's like plopping on the table, but whatever. And I really don't. Um, so yeah, so let me like, no, waste no more time without further ado. I'm gonna bring my, introduce my little liquors that I got over here. So I'm gonna see if I can push this back a little bit so that y'all can see this, um, right quick. Um, so these are the liquors that I chose today, uh, when I was in the ABC store. And I think all three of these was like $40 or whatever. So the first one that I picked up was this Rich and Rare apple um they have like a plain version too um yeah rich and rare apple i got a story for that i'm gonna give y'all give y'all the story when i open it this is called patty's old irish whiskey not really sure why but don't know i just decided to pick it up and this is corbell brandy excuse me corbell Corbell makes like a champagne, right? So I was like, hmm, champagne, like a brandy, Corbell? Like, let's just see what it's hitting for. I think this one was um, 11, this was like 11.95. This one was like 19.95 because it comes in a little fancy thing. And then of course this one is like cheap as other cheap. It was like $7 some change. <laughs> so we gonna start with the cheapest one first. So I'm gonna slide them on out the way. So rich and rare, R&R &R is what they call it. So I got a quick story that I'm gonna give y'all for this. And this is the apple flavor. So this will only be my second time drinking this right here because 
The regular R and R is forty percent or maybe forty five percent alcohol, and it's not flavored, and it tastes like gasoline. Gasoline, ninety three premium gasoline. Like no lie. And it's like $7. So the first time I bought this was a couple years ago when I had a um, game night at my apartment. Matter of fact, it was 2016 to be exact, I believe. So I go to the ABC store on one of my adventures and I asked the lady like, oh, I want to try something different. She's like, what do you drink? I'm like, I drink brown. I'm tired of drinking like, you know, your Hennessy, your Crown, you know, stuff like that. She was like, oh, get that R&R. &R. She was like, it's super smooth. Like, you get more for your buck. And I had bought the big bottle. So, the big bottle was like $20. So, bought the big bottle. I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah. Crack that thing open in the house. I was like, I said, uh-uh. Maybe it tastes better than what it smells, you know. But not thinking. Invited some of my friends over for a game night. We playing Circle of Death, right? So, um, before we start playing Circle of Death, we start taking shots. And so, me and my best friend, we, Brown, so we poured up. And he was like, all right, no, I'm like, okay, bro, like, I see you be on the exclusive store. I'm like, listen, lady, ABC store said, try it. She said, it's smooth. It's, it's good. So, lying, because I ain't never have it. So, try that, man, gasoline. Gasoline. I'm like, <clears throat> Like, you know how, <laughs> you know how when you drink the liquor and you get that bite, like that strong bite on the back of the, oh, back of your throat, like, bro, that's what it was. So, playing Circle of Death, con my stupid self continues to keep the R&R &R on the table. Keep the R&R &R on the table. And, you know, with Circle of Death, it's like a card game. So, each card means something. I can't really remember what all the cards mean, but I know the... Um, king in the card game is, um, the king in the card game. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my other phone. Um, the king in the card game means that you have to pour a shot. So, of course, there are four kings that are in the deck. You, each person pours a shot. The first three people. That fourth person has to take those three shots that have been poured. So, not thinking, you know, it's going through the game laughing. Ha, 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 ha. First time, uh, the fourth king lands on, I think, me, maybe. It might have been my best friend. N nevertheless, it landed on me one time and it landed on him one time. And our stupid self decided to get the R&R. &R, so, and I believe this happened to us twice, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. So, in the mix of taking shots, like, when it came around that second time, I said, and I don't even know how we convinced them. No, 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 no. I know what happened. I'm sorry. What happened was we didn't pour the shots. So we just sat the glasses up there. So whoever it landed on, we didn't have, you know, the wrong liquor in those glasses. We said, we just going to sit the glasses. Whoever landed on that fourth king, you pour your own poison or whatever. Our stupid self continued to pour the r and Needless to say, when my friends left my house, I was pretty, pretty wasted. And I think I went to sleep maybe like two or three o'clock in the morning. Bruh, I did not wake up until like 6.30 the next day. Like 6.30 the next day. And I was just like, bro, I'm never drinking that again in my life. And to this day, until today, I never bought Rich and Rare again. So... When I saw apple, I was like, I mean, how bad could it be? And it's 35% and it's flavored. And so this is Canadian whiskey. Like I said, 35% alcohol, which is 70 proof. It's apple flavored. So preferably it won't be too bad. And none of these have been open. So I'm opening all of these for the first time with y'all. Smells like crown apple to me. That's what it smells like. So go ahead and pour and y'all see i poured a full shot because i don't want y'all saying oh he all right y'all know how y'all do all right so take it up yeah that's better than that tastes like crown apple to me i think that apple <clears throat> honestly knocked some of that bite off of that because that regular mm -mm. And honestly, 
speaking about that, like now that I've been into a whole bunch of browns, like that that um regular probably won't be bad now because I drink this other one called Lord Calvert which is like a bottom of the barrel. That one like $7 too. But I like it though, because I just feel like the point of you drinking alcohol is to get a buzz or to get drunk or to get wasted or whatever. All alcohol does the same thing. However, when you buy them bottom shelf alcohols and $7 alcohols, $6, $10, maybe even $12, you run the risk of having a headache the next day. So try to stay away from those. Like I only have a couple that I drink. Like I said, that Lloyd Calvert that I got over there and the other little trash can, um, garage vodka that's in the Bartesian. I got a little mixer that going with them. So it... It don't bother me at all. So, um, we went with the cheapest. So, next we're going to go with the Corbell. And y'all give me a second because I'm going to get the receipt so I can tell y'all exactly how much it costs. Okay. All right. So, the receipt was on the counter. Um, so, the Rich and Rare was $7.95. Like I said, the Corbell. It said Corbell Grape Brandy. Like, it ain't grape flavor. Maybe they mean like the grapes or the... I don't know why it says great, but that one was $11.95, and that's the next one that I'm about to drink. This one right here. Corbell Brandy, and this one is, I don't know if y'all can see it, 40% alcohol. Excuse me. And the Patty, Patty's Old Irish Whiskey, that one was $19.95. So you can just pick them up at your local ABC store. Um, so y'all won't think that I'm lying up my car information because y'all be trying to steal my money and my location where I got them from. So yeah, y'all can see. Y'all see all of them up there. Don't mind the 1800 silver for $40.95. That was something that my brother got. So yeah. Um all right, so yeah, as y'all can see, I'm peeling this off. Because y'all will be thinking that I'll be lying to y'all and then filled it with apple juice or Pepsi Cola or something, and then be trying to talk trash about me. So, let's see. This smells like, I mean, it smells like brandy, but it smells like. Mm, let's see. <clears throat> it says, if wine is the heart of the great brandy is a soul, since 1889, Sonoma County, wine raised by Corbell is masterfully aged to perfection in premium oak barrels, fire charred and mellow to achieve a golden amber color, rich butterscotch aroma and extra smooth taste. I'll be the judge of that, this smooth taste, but yeah. I mean, it smells like brandy. Like I don't really like brandy because it be, brandy be having that bite, not like brandy the singer, but I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. So, yeah, so, and then when I finish all of them, I'm going to give y'all a rating on what I would, you know, recommend. Like, if I say do not buy, like, do not buy, like, yeah, but another full shot. And y'all probably like, why are you drinking like that on Monday? Mind your business. Like, if you don't want to see me drink, buy, exit to the left. Like, you can leave, like, this one right here, I think this one going to hit. It wasn't bad, <clears throat> but it does give you that little, that little bite. Oh, it's a Francis Corbell. Maybe that's who made, who like owns the thing or something. Y'all see underneath where it say Brandy, that little script right and say, that little script right and say Francis Corbell. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> that one wasn't bad. Um... Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, and then next is the patties. Whoops. Um, patties. The patty. Flaherty? Flar Flaherty? Maybe Flaherty brand? Inspired by the man himself. So I'm guessing that's patty right there. If they if they walk around calling that man patty, that's completely inappropriate. Not P-A-T-T. I like Patty Labelle, but P A D D Y, like St. Patty's there. Um, so let's see. 
Old Irish Whiskey, a blend of grain, malt, and pot still. I got a feeling that this right here is going to give me like a malty, like scotchy, like taste. Oh, it's fancy. It's in a, wrapped in a little paper. Okay. Take that out. Let's see a little canteen over there. Let's see what the little paper say. <clears throat> the Patty Post and Press. So it's like a little newspaper or something. Price uh, one half penny. Like how do you cut a penny in half? So when you go, do you just be like, let me get two copies? I don't know. That's the little patty, the patty post and press that was tied, well, wrapped around the little bottle. We keep that. I was trying to be, you know, fancy or something. Um, this one was established in 1779. The Corbell was in 1889. Oh, so that was like 110 years later, I think. Yeah, because 10 will be 89, 118, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they don't really tell you what it, what, it, what it gives you. So that lets me know that this is about to be some gasoline. They say aged for a minimum of three years, according to the whiskey, to the Irish Whiskey Act 1980. Okay, hmm. <clears throat> uh, our Irish whiskey traces its roots back to 767. Number is true. Name did not come much until much later when a salesman by the name of Patty Flaherty, wrong pub to pub with a sales pitch of equal parts, smooth, triple distilled, whiskey, good humor, and revelry. Revelry, I think that's how you pronounce it. Patty was a beloved, was was as beloved as the whiskey he sold and no smart small part because of the free rounds he'd give at every stop. It was only fitting that this fine whiskey became known as Patty. So tonight, invite your friends to a Gather around for a toast to Patty. Hmm, Patty. Patty Flaherty. Okay, so we're going to toast. This toast going to be for Patty. Patty probably died 100 years ago. Matter of fact, before I even crack that, let me, let me, let me see when Patty died. And if he's a real person or did they just make that up? I feel like they just made that up. Angel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Looking at text messages. Patty Flaherty. Let's see. Y'all, Patty got a whole restaurant in Canada. Look. Patty Flaherty's. Y'all see down there at the bottom in Canada. Right there. He got a whole restaurant in Canada. A chain of festive Irish pubs featuring traditional comfort food, local and imported brews, and live music. I may have to go check Patty's out. Um, um, is that the same one? No, that bottle right there look a little different than my bottle. I mean, it look about the same. Maybe they changed the, um, the name of it. Patty whiskey is distilled three times and matured in oak casks for up to seven years. Compared with other Irish whiskeys, Patty has a comparatively low pot steel content and a high malt content in this blend. So this right here is going to taste like a straight 211. I can already tell. I already know what I'm about to get, Patty. I already know. I already know. Y'all see? See how the thing fell on the floor? I already know what I'm going to get, Patty. I already know. I already know. I don't know, Patty, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out, though, because I'm already almost 20 minutes in. Like, dang, that time went by fast. I poured a whole no another full shot so y'all don't be talking junk about me. Yeah, I don't know about Patty. <laughs> Patty, how could be? What James White like, Chanel say, Patty, Patty. Bro, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little scared to drink that one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. What they said, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a little, I'm a, 
I think Patty is gonna give me straight to 11. Like, y'all see how my face just like, ugh. I don't know, Patty. Don't do me bad now. It's not bad. 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 Okay. So again, these are the three that I hit y'all with tonight. We're gonna put Patty in the middle. The the rich and rare apple, um, Patty's, um, old Irish whiskey, and Corbell Carolina brandy. Me personally, um, I think that I did them in the correct order of how they taste. Um, so the rich and rare is not bad. Um, it gives you like, if you're looking for like a cheaper version of like a crown apple and you're looking for a little bit more, definitely go with that. $7 is really not bad. So this is something that you could take like, oh, they be like, ooh, rich and rare. Like, where'd you get that from? Like, so that's something that you can, you know, drink on every day. So rich and rare, I probably get at like a eight and a half, nine out of ten. The next one that I had was Corbell. I'm not really a big super super brandy fan, but the Corbell, I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, it did have a little slight bite on the back. Um, I mean, I would definitely drink it, like mix it with something. Like if I drink it, maybe take a couple shots and then mix it. Um I'll probably give that maybe like a strong eight. Um, because when I get a rich and rare, what did I say? Eight and a half, nine. I think that's what I said. I would probably get a Corbell maybe a strong eight. Um, because it's I mean, because it's solid, it ain't bad. Like, I mean, it's it's a solid brandy. Like, brandy is a little different than whiskey. So I mean, I give it a solid eight. Patties. This here. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all though, like honestly. Like honestly, I would probably give I would probably give Patty's maybe like a strong eight too. Maybe now that I think about it, maybe an eight and a half because Patty's is the type where like when you just vibing with your friends, like I mean it it did hit a little different because like anything that has malt in it, like I already be like real leery because I'd be like it's malty. Like, it's going to give me, like, a beer taste, and I don't want a beer taste. But that right there wasn't too, too bad. It's probably just because I took them three shots of three different things back to back. Like, the Canadian whiskey, the brandy, and the old Irish whiskey. Like, that's probably just what it was. But it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't bad. Like, that's something that I could see myself sipping or that could be something like when my homeboys come over, like if I have a little round table, like with my boys or whatever, like we just kind of like take a shot of that and then we sip it for the rest of the night. Like that, like that gives me that type of vibe or whatever. Um, Not too, too strong, not a super, super strong bite on the back, but you definitely get a hint of that malt on there. So yeah, so that was my review y'all tonight. Um of these little liquors y'all let me know um y'all watch this video y'all let me know if what else y'all want me to review um so yeah so that is pretty much it um drinks with dsk like i have a new name for the drinks with dsk well or i may just continue doing drinks with dsk but i do have another um web series that's coming out with one of my homegirls very 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 soon um, I'll release that name to y'all when we get close to releasing the show. Um, but yeah, y'all like this video, you know, subscribe to my channel. Those of y'all that know about the channel, because a lot of people don't know about my channel and my foolishness. Um, I might come back with another video tonight. I might not. Um, and it's 9.53 where I'm at, so... It'll probably be a no um, for tonight. But, yeah. So, I'm thinking about maybe doing a live pretty soon. Let's see how that goes. Because it's, like, 
So no, I know we already at 24 minutes, y'all, but I just gotta tell y'all this really quickly. So I'm like a semi-private person. So it's like with a live video, like so many people can tap in and they can see it and they can make comments and stuff. And my friends, like, I never go live, like unless it's I'm at church or, you know, something like that. Like I'm at an event. Like I never just go live on my personal page and be like, ooh, y'all check out my live. Oh, y'all share the live. Like, no, if I'm at church, if I'm at an event, if it's something with my nonprofit or something like that, then cool. I just, you know, toss my phone to somebody and be like, yo, go live right quick just to, you know, get some footage. But as far as me just going live, like on a regular Monday, mm -mm. it's a no for me, dog. So what I may do, um, I know what I might do. So I may do another liquor video, liquor review video. Um, and I may see if I can get one of my friends to get the same liquors or buy the same liquors for one of my friends and we go live together and we do like a live where we taste them both some both of them together so yeah so y'all let me know um of some liquors that y'all want me to try like don't send me nothing nasty don't send me nothing that got no peanuts in it because i'm allergic to peanuts and i would not be dying on the live for y'all to be laughing and then talking at my funeral about how y'all told me to try this peanut whiskey and i didn't die on the live okay Cause I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Now I would kindly tell you, hey, um, Jailbird eighty three underscore two o o four. I can't try your peanut butter whiskey because I'm about to die. All right. However, I have tried screwball, but y'all my business. So that's it. It's your boy DSK here. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Drinks with DSK. Sorry I couldn't play a whole bunch of music for y'all. Y'all probably hear it in the background, but y'all know YouTube me on my videos. So, as my boy in barber school used to say, be good or be good at it. Deuces. <laughs>